Hey there Libra, welcome to Healing Guys Tarot. This is going to be your money, career, finance reading for September 2021 for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Okay, look at the feather came up with this one. Okay, what do you need to know about your career or business? You have to make a decision. There's something you're not seeing everything, but you do have to make a decision here. Okay, we'll clarify these. What can you do to move forward? Be more structured, be more um, organized. It's um, Taurus energy here. There might be, some, could this be some organized? Um, I don't know, I feel definitely gonna have to clarify this. Hmm. Um, how can you be more financially successful? Four of Pentacles. With this, I'm feeling like you have to um, hold on to something here. Keep something quiet right now. Don't be um, telling other people about what's going on with you. Where or what do you need to improve? Ooh, the lovers, partnership, decision, Gemini energy. And what or whom is an obstacle you need to overcome? Page of Cups. Someone might be coming in here with an offer. This might be interfering. Maybe you have someone that is um, interfering. Someone's offering you their cup of love or apology. And you need to um, take care of that. Might be interfering with your work. Okay, what is coming in the near future? A new opportunity here. Ace of Swords, cutting out what does not belong and something new coming in. Communication. Okay. And what or whom is helping you? We have the King of Cups, but he's in the reverse. So that would be Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. So this person here might be, um, I wonder if it's this person. I think this person might be wanting to help you, but they're also interested in you. That, so that might be an issue. They're trying to help you, but I think they're romantically issue, uh, issued, <laughs> interested in you. Um, your potential outcome. Ooh, money coming in. Yeah, it looks good. Bottom of the deck, we have Three of Pentacles. So this is definitely work, to work with someone, to collaborate with someone, or even focus on your work yourself, just putting a lot of time and effort into something. Okay, let's see here. Let's clarify. Why is the Two of Swords here? Why is the Two of Swords here? Okay. You have to make a decision about something that ended for the new beginning here. You do have the um, Knight of Swords, which could be your energy, uh, Libra, uh, Aquarius, or Gemini. And it's also about having an even balance here, I think, with the scales being even with the, um, maybe people that work for you with um, getting paid enough for the work they do or maybe you're getting, not getting paid enough but it has to be an even balance here you you're thinking about whether or not you should leave this job because you're not getting compensated like you should so you're on the fence about that you're thinking about just you know maybe going to the boss and saying hey i need more money for all the work i do or i'm not getting compensated you're not paying me for my worth I think that's what i'm feeling here that you guys have to have a discussion with someone and you're on the fence of how to do it because it, if this is ending well of course there'll be a new beginning someplace else but this is coming in no matter what I think so if you don't make a move with the death card that means there's gonna be an ending okay let's clarify this heart event why is the heart event here oh he's the cops Ten of Pentacles again, 
and so you have to make a choice here you might have to choose between your money and and your love life mm. someone is might be dealing with someone at work that they're interested in or or going where you you know doing what you love or you or you might have to choose between doing what you really love that you have um that really gets you going or the money and we have the higher event here which is a commitment do you want to commit or else it could be for some of you it could be a love coming in here too that because we also have with these cards here I'm feeling that there's I'm not these these cards there's someone coming in so kind of confusing but yeah some of you might have to choose between this love the person that is interested in you and making them your money maybe you might have to leave a job to go to someplace else okay let's get some more cards see if we get more clarity on this why is the four of pentacles here And moving away okay yes you have to make a decision here you're hanging on to something you're you're by, you maybe not telling your significant other about a job offer maybe or because you're holding something to yourself how the devil here Capricorn energy this also could be over obsessing about something you're you want to walk away from something to move to something else and you do have these choices you don't know what to do I really feel like you're on the fence about something here. About maybe whether to leave this job to go towards something you love. Whether it's a person or another job or another. Maybe if you guys are married, maybe this money is really good. And you you might be saying, well, gee, you know, I, I'm i committed to doing the right thing. I mean, here, you might, you, know, you, you might be married, so it might be saying... She, my spouse is not going to be too happy if I want to leave and not make as much money, but I'll be happy doing what I love. That's why I feel for some of you guys. Or if you're not married, it might be a situation where do you stay and make and, and, and work on your career, or may you have to, in order to be with the person you love, you might have to leave uh, this career, this job. Okay, what about this? the lovers here? We do have the lovers here. This is a decision. Wow. Oh my gosh. <gasps> do you believe that? Oh my God. So the lovers, again, this is <laughs> definitely, I would say this is a love situation somehow here. And moving away from something to go towards this love. I think you want to leave where you're making a good paycheck to go to someone that you love and and they see you as very attractive you see them at very attractive whichever way this works here the queen of wands there's a lot of passion a lot of tr uh, attraction here very sexy wow okay Oof. can you believe that the lovers came out again and they we got the 10 so this is very significant lovers versus money and in the end, you are going to have money, though. Your potential outcome is to have money. I mean, you can still, sometimes when you leave money, money comes in another place. It doesn't mean that you just have to get it there. Okay, why is the Page of Cups here? And this is where or what do you need to improve? It almost feels like you feel like you have to work on your relationship. I would say with that. Okay. And what or whom is the opportunity need to come? Let's see. Another decision card. Oh my gosh. Yes. This love makes you really happy. This is, we have the, the Ten of Cups, but we also have the Star, which is like the Nine of Cups in the Major Arcana. So this this offer that comes in, this love offer, makes you really happy. You really want to go where you're happy. This is, um, wow, there's a lot of love here. Okay, what about this Ace of Swords? Ooh. 
Whoa, oh my gosh. I think you guys are going for the love here. Whatever the situation is, it's um something that's coming back around, maybe something and come back around. Might have been a lot of competition, but you're you know you're standing right there. This is a new beginning in love. Communication about having a commitment. We have the Hierophant here. We have the Four of Wands. We have the Ace of Cups. We have the Ten of Cups. We have the Star. We have the Lovers twice. Yeah, and then we have the Eight of Cups moving away from something, and we have the Six of Swords moving away from something to go to something better. Oh, wow! Oh my gosh! Okay, why is the King of Cups here in reverse? Nine of Cups. Wow. Okay, this person here, this King of Cups, they have a lot of emotions for you. They might not be telling you exactly how they feel, but they, you know, this person is trying to help you. Your wish fulfillment. They have a lot of passion for you. They want to come towards you, and they might they might see you as single and being okay by yourself, but they want to come in with this passionate love offer. They have the Nine of Cups for you. They have a lot of love for you. You're their wish fulfillment. And they want to help you, but, you know, I mean, they want to help. They want you for themselves. So, I think to them, the love is more important than the money. But we're talking about your money. So, oof. Okay. What else do we have here? Page of Wands. swords again and a page of pentacles wow you might be getting a couple offers here but it, this is for the potential outcome you have new beginning you have a lot of talks i think you have a like you have choices here so there's a lot of different choices here and you might be having different people coming to you from different places offering you different things whether it's love because you do have the page of cups here you have the um, Page of Pentacles, Page of Wands. The only page we didn't get is the Page of Swords. Look at the bottom of the deck. <laughs> it's two of cups. Okay, this is supposed to be a, a reading for your money, but I think the love is like uh, overshadowing everything here. It's like, wow. But you will be getting um, people talking to you to maybe try to recruit you or give them job offers here too, I think. There's offers coming in. A lot of communication. You got two ace of swords. This is amazing reading. Wow. Okay, well, I was trying to make it for money and career. I mean, that's what my intention was, but you know, <laughs> the universe doesn't have that in mind. It seems like it's a love reading. It's um but it looks like you're you know, you do have the Ten of Pentacles, so I think um money will come to you. Maybe if you follow your heart and do what you love to do. And um, also, it it seems like by doing that, you're bringing in this love, this person that is afraid. I almost feels like they're afraid to tell you how they really feel because they don't want to interfere with your, um, you know, with your career or what you want to do. They want you happy above all else. I think they're going to come in with this offer, maybe, and it doesn't seem that that big, but really, their intention is to marry you, to be with you. And I don't think they're coming across like that. Wow, what an intense reading. <laughs> well, that's what I have for you guys. I think, um, yeah, really very, there's, you have all the love cards here. You really do. This is a very strong connection. This might be a soulmate connection, twin flame, <clears throat> but it's very, very strong here. So, um, please let me know if it resonates. Please like, share, and subscribe. I hope to see you again real soon. Thank you.